Here we are. I even had it pre-installed. Um, why is load game enabled? Oh my. Look at all these options. Look at all these options we can have. Uh, turn the contrast of your monitor as high as it will go. If you can't see the symbol in the black square above, then turn the brightness of your monitor up until the symbol becomes visible. I can just about see it. Uh, English, English. Sorry, I should just crack on. Let's go. Um, yeah. I realized as our group linked back to Dunny that we should not restore the city as we had planned. Once magnificent buildings lay in ruin, testament to the hatred that had consumed them. Too many people had fallen victim to that hate, to the prejudice and greed from which it sprang. Gazing out across the cavern, I decided to write another age, one that would help the Dunny survivors begin again, free from the tragedies of their past. So with my wife, Catherine, supporting me, I put aside that past to write a future. More than a year has gone by since I finished writing Renishan. I have a new daughter, who I hope will someday link to the age with me. And as I imagine Yisha meeting the Dunny, those brave men and women who are building a new life for themselves, I realize I've been given another chance as well. A chance to learn from my mistakes and leave the past behind me once and for all. I like this. Uh, you might recognize the actor playing the antagonist in this game. Oh, nice. We'll see, I guess. Breathtaking, isn't it? Yes. Oh. oh. <laughs> this is new. We call it Tamana. We moved here after Atrus finished writing Relation. He wanted us to have a new home too. I'm so glad to see you. I told Atrus our paths would cross again. He was just going to grab something for your trip to Relation, so he shouldn't be terribly long. Unless he decides to check over the whole house first, which means he could be hours resetting all his padlocks. But I know he was looking forward to introducing you to the Dunny, so he shouldn't be terribly long. Why don't you wait in his study? I will. Okay, it's still click to move. It's not WASD. You know, this trip is exactly what Atrus needs right now. I haven't been able to get him out of the house for months, ever since he found his journals out of place. But seeing how well the Donny have settled in on relation should help him to finally relax. Okay. God, if I have to actually look everywhere, it's going to be a nightmare. You know what I'm like. Um, notepads. Journals. Very clearly a linking book we definitely shouldn't touch. Is that... Um, Akinar and... 
The other one I can never remember the name of. I see. Uh, Taman, thank you for responding so quickly to my request for Nora Padlocks. As you know, security in Tamara has become an important issue of late. Perhaps I'm overreacting, as Catherine suggests, but the idea that someone may have been sneaking into my study, reading all of my journals, disturbs me. After what happened to my library on Mist, after my own sons, Cirrus, Cirrus and Akna destroyed so many of my books, I've come to realize how delicate the link is to my worlds. I've never been able to repair those books, uh, those burned books, to link to each age and find out if the inhabitants survived. The padlocks won't change that situation, but they should ease my fear of trespassers considerably. Sincerely, Atrus. Hmm. Catherine and the Baba. I thought that was a hunk of meat for a second. Delicious. You can't spam click anymore because it's going to zoom in and zoom out and people are going to get very frustrated. <laughs> uh, shall we click? Shall we link? Shall we? Yeah, okay. Go on then. Oh, I guess it's broken. Oh well, never mind. Hmm. That's the Riven book. Okay, that makes sense. Oh, so... Riven's dead? Is that what we're saying? And yeah, by the way, can we just talk about the ending of Riven? Did he actually just like <laughs> teleport himself out of there and then just like, right, catch you later. Thanks for saving me and my wife and all of all of those other people, but off you go now. Into the into the void. Well, my friend, I see you found the release on book. Catherine tells me you've been here for some time. I'm sorry if I've kept you waiting. Since we'll be gone a few days, I need to secure some of my things. And I also wanted to bring you this. It's a journal I kept while I was writing Release On. I thought you might find it interesting to read about what I'd hoped to achieve, compare it to what the age truly is. Well, just let me get my keys to unlock Release On and you'll be off. Oh, and I'm interested in hearing what you've been up to in recent months. <laughs> the fuck? No! 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 <laughs> what? I mean, I guess I'll j jump in then, right? <laughs> What just happened? Oh, I'm going to be so confused again. Oh, we're chasing the dudes. Come back, you little bastard. Yeah. Just ignore all of the hints and clues chase you son of a gun wait 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 what was that
Right, first things first. First things first. How do I read my journal book? They never told me. Uh... Is there a controls option in here? No, of course there's not. Oh, there was, however, subtitles. Everyone likes some subtitles. <laughs> Damn locked door. Yeah, I know, right? Welcome to exile. Uh... Oh, there we go. Okay. I figured it out. Don't worry. 93525. I always feared this day would come. For years, Catherine and I have dreamed of restoring Dunny. We have dedicated our lives to the task, taking it upon ourselves to locate the citizens of Dunny and convince them to return to their ruined city and rebuild. Our dream has become the dream of so many now, and the progress we have made towards achieving it is something of which we can all stand proud. But I know, uh, but I know now that it has been a mistake. The city of Dunny should not be restored. It should stand forever in ruins as both a symbol of our past mistakes and a memorial to all who lost their lives when Dunny fell. The devastating events of recent months, the war on tyranny and the death of Utah in particular have driven this truth home to me quite forcefully. If we rebuild the city walls today, we are not giving approval to the very illness that destroyed us are we not giving approval to the very illness that destroyed our civilization in the first place? Are we not setting ourselves up to repeat that pattern again in future generations? I have put much thought into this tonight and have found only one solution. If we, the men and women who survived the downfall of Dunny, are to thrive, then we must break the pattern of hatred which has destroyed so many lives. We must begin our civilization anew, and we can only do that if I write as a new age. I have spoken with Catherine about this, and she agrees. I only hope the others will see it as well. 93526. Will these people never cease to amaze me? I thought they would object to my decision. After all, most of them linked back to Dunny specifically to see the city rebuilt. But when I told them why we should not restore it, their response was immediate and unanimous. Whereas yesterday they thought only of rebuilding, today they concentrate solely on salvage. They intend to take from their ruined city only that which is best and move on. Everywhere I look, the enthusiasm for this new task is obvious. It heartens me, even as I face my own monumental contribution. I have written many ages in my lifetime, from my first timid attempts under the tyrannical tutelage of my father. God, some alliteration there. <laughs> first timid attempts under the tyrannical tutelage of my father, to my most recent accomplishment, Averone. Never before has so much been riding on my skill. The age I am about to write must be all I have ever imagined and more. How am I going to achieve it? 9361. Catherine laughed this morning when she saw me dredging out my old notebooks. I must have made quite the picture, sitting near the embers of a fire surrounded by countless commentaries and journals. Some of them seemed more dust than paper, but the hours I spent sifting through them was worth it. Ideas for what this new age might be are tumbling around in my head. There are almost too many to catch hold of. Obviously, I must choose some starting point as my anchor. Writing ages is a science, a precisely structured equation of words. Every equation needs, as its foundation, an underlying concept around which the age can develop. In the past, I have written my books around whatever idea intrigued me the most at the time. I wanted to discover how the age to which the book linked would manifest the results of that idea. Sometimes civilizations had arisen, sometimes they had not. But whether a society had come to exist on the age or not, it was often in response to whatever concept the book I had written embodied. This time, my search for a concept must be weighed very carefully. I already have the civilization I wish to see develop. I know our history as a people, and the paths we have followed to arrive here. Today, I must write a book which will link to an age that will allow us to continue on our way, growing ever stronger as one people. 
What underlying concept must this new age reflect that will best allow our civilization to thrive? I fear I must think on this some more. 9365. It has taken me some time, but I may have found my anchor. It came to me as I was considering what I know about the survivors of Dunny. We have seen so much tragedy in our lives, from the destruction of the city to the suffering and loss of loved ones due to plague and deprivation. Yet even in the midst of these adversities, my kinsmen and I have found the strength to keep going. We have tapped into our individual strengths and transformed ourselves into something much stronger. It's a characteristic I've seen in several of my ages, whenever I focus my writing on the inherent energy sources in a world. Long ago, Grandmother taught me that no light Long ago, Grandmother taught me that no life, no possibility for life in an age, exists without the presence of energy. By tapping into its latent energy sources, an age moves out of stasis. It grows, transforms, and develops. Energy is the underlying fuel that powers all activity. To put it more simply, energy powers future motion. Yet, as Grandmother also liked to remind me, energy in an age takes on diverse forms. Each one has strengths and weaknesses of its own. How many forms will this new age contain? Which type will be its dominant theme? Tomorrow, I will link back to Mist, and from there revisit several of my ages. Perhaps in my old worlds, I will discover new ideas. 9366. I had almost forgotten how painful it is to revisit Mist. In the ten years since my sons, Cirrus and Akinar, left me trapped on Kavir Island and burned so many of my books, Catherine and I have rarely linked back. I told myself we were always too busy. First, the writing ages like Averon, then with searching the ages of Dunny survivors. I always said we would spend more time on Mist eventually. The truth is, I've been avoiding the age. Seeing the island in its current condition ignites such anger and grief. I am immediately reminded of the betrayal of my sons, as well as the cruelty and greed with which they plundered my ages. I know I am partly responsible for these acts. I constantly wonder if there was something I could have done to reach out to the boys before. Enough. Nothing can change the tragedies of the past. Like my Dunny kinsman, I must salvage what is best and move on. Perhaps in the process, I will find forgiveness and hope. 93.10.17 Once again, I am back on Mist Island, having completed a lengthy sojourn through several of my ages. The trip itself was not as, uh, as inspiring as I had hoped. The Selenetic Age, Selenetic Age, especially, was disturbing. But has it not always been so? The very first time I linked to the age, its uninhabited landscape was shaking with tremors. At the time, I felt it was because the energy in the age was unfocused, as if it were at war with itself. Stability finally came, but even after it did, I never truly felt comfortable there. I missed the more natural balance of ages like Channelwood. Oh, Selenetic, that was... We read a book about that uh, back on Mist. I think that was the one that, um, yeah, it was just like constantly in turmoil and earthquakes. And I think he said like fire rain from the sky at one point, right? Perhaps that is the lesson to take home with me. The Dunny too have faced much turmoil in their history. Their lives have been unsettled enough. Perhaps I should be striving to offset the energy that already exists within our civilization by providing it with a more stabilized environment in which to grow. An environment in which the natural equilibrium of the world serves as a counterpoint to the upheavals of civilization. The more I consider it, the more I wonder if I should make nature the foundation of this new age. Worlds like Channelwood attain equilibrium quite easily, primarily because of one reason. Nature encourages mutual dependence. As one life withers and dies, it provides nourishment so that another might live. Plants become food for the animals, and the waste products animals cannot absorb become nutrients to sustain other plants. So long as nothing intrudes to upset this balance, nature can maintain itself indefinitely. An interesting metaphor to set as an example for my people. I think I will confer with Catherine on this subject. Her ages always exhibit symbiosis more dramatically than mine. Perhaps she should help me write this new age. 93, 10, 24. I am so tired, I can barely think right now. But I will force myself to stay focused, for I have not written anything in days. The moment I linked back to Dunny, I was besieged with requests for my assistance. Master Tamman wanted to consult over which stone cutters were worth salvaging. And did I think the rock in this new age would be difficult to sound? Omer and Isil needed my opinion about a new history they had uncovered. 
Should they hold off on starting its translation, or would paper supplies be scarce in the new age? There were so many questions needed, needing answers. I barely had time to see Catherine. She, of course, laughed at my dilemma, saying that I had no one to blame but myself. After all, I was the one who encouraged the Dunny to start over. Naturally, they would look to me to keep them moving in the right direction, unless some other force stepped in to change that view. Her words made me realise a fundamental principle that I had thus far been ignoring. All this time I had been debating whether to make energy or nature the underlying framework for this age. But there is another equation to consider. An age based solely on the future notion... Uh, future motion of energy will face constant upheavals, most likely at the cost of tranquillity, and an age based solely on the mutual dependence of nature can become so balanced over time it may cease to tolerate change. Yet to continue to grow as a people, Dunny civilization needs both, occasional upheavals followed by periods of balanced stability. I have seen such situations occur naturally on several of my ages. Each time, it was because I centred the writing around some dynamic force that I had decided to make prevalent in the age, such forces allow the balance between forward motion and mutual dependence to fluctuate. As one concept takes precedence, the other recedes until another force surfaces to change things. As Catherine's insightful comment reminded me, dynamic forces spur change. I am too tired to think more on this tonight. Hopefully in the morning, my thoughts will coalesce. 93.10.25 Catherine surprised me today. Apparently, while I was off visiting my ages, she linked a mist by herself. She did not say so, but I could tell that her visit had been, had been painful. More than ever now, I am convinced we must find a place to begin again ourselves. Perhaps when I have written this new age for the Dunny, I will put some thought into where Catherine and I might live. 93.10.28 I cannot believe I did not see it before. All this time I have been struggling to describe the perfect age for the Dunny. I have considered and then rejected several underlying concepts which I felt might best set the course for their future, as if I alone should determine how Dunny civilization will grow. In my own way, I have become as egotistical as my father. In truth, I owe this realisation to Catherine. Sensing my indecision about the new age, she led me on a walk around Dunny. Salvaging efforts were well underway, with teams of people scouring the ruined harbour, scouring the ruined harbour district. As I watched my Dunny kinsmen deciding which parts of their culture to retain, I realised they do not need me to determine their future. They are quite capable of setting its course by themselves. Regardless of what age I write, this realisation has opened my eyes to the best way of approaching my task. I no longer need to worry about which underlying concept energy, nature or dynamic force I should make prevalent in the age. Rather, I must strive to include them all. I must write a balance of systems into a descriptive book, enough so that the Dunny people will constantly be challenged to attain their ultimate potential. As Grandmother often pointed out to me when we spoke about ages back on Mist, balanced systems stimulate civilizations. At last, I feel I'm ready to begin writing this age. Indeed, I am eager to begin, and have already come up with the perfect name. I know Grandmother would have loved it. Of course, Catherine could tell the moment I turned to her that I had finally found my starting point, I babbled on excitedly for some time before I noticed the smile she was hiding. When I saw it, enough to grow suspicious, she handed me one of my oldest age books. She must have picked it up when she linked back to Mist. Seeing the name Jananin, Jananin emblazoned on the book cover, I could only shake my head. The one age I never got around to revisiting was the one that might have helped me the most. How foolish I was to have completely forgotten it. I think... After I have finished this work, I should take one final trip, if only to help restore an old fool's memories. Oh. Well, that was an essay and a half. Uh, so he manipulated you into breaking Riven to get you home. He manipulated you into breaking Riven to get you home. Oh, he sent me home. You came to Atrus initially via the Starry Expanse in Mist, so the only way back to your home is through the Starry Expanse again. Uh, okay, I'll let him off then. I'll let him off. I genuinely thought he was, like, just being a bit of an, a bit of an asshole. <laughs> right. Let's figure this out. Can we like 
wall crawl? I'm gonna guess now. I did see a thingy over here, though. There's loads of thingies. It twists. Uh, but an explanation would have been nice. <laughs> yeah, tell me about it. Okay, that's now looking at a green thing. But where's the green thing? Can I see it from here? Maybe it's that one. I don't think it's directly that way. Right. What's this one? You are some rock. Oh no! There's a broken one. Is that down here? Oh wait, is this the thingy that we were looking at the first time? Okay. Right, here's the broken thingy. Which means we need to find a replacement, I would wager. This is not just a dead end. It's not. <laughs> Hooray. What is this thing? Okay, let's go down the steps. Whistling rock. This is going to be like Riven all over again, isn't it? Where it's like an open world and then you have no idea what you're doing for a good half of the game okay Seems like a particularly weird children's toy. <laughs> oh 
Oh no, what kind of world are we in? <clears throat> I have done it. I have used his swirling linking book to follow him. I touched my palm to its glowing panel and felt the tingling begin. There was a sudden sickening lurch inside my stomach. Then I fell into a, the page. This has happened before. I know it. It happened the first time I came to this place, when I followed his murdering sons from Narayan. It happened when I used his hidden books, and it happened when I finally opened the machine, right before the fog first ate my mind. The fog didn't find me this time. When I opened my eyes, I was alone in a room. I was standing in the home of my betrayers. I couldn't move. I was afraid. I thought they'd know that I had come and would be waiting for me, just like they had waited inside this very tusk. I was afraid they would tie me up again, that the poison snakes would strike. But the silence was unbroken. The whole house was still. And without really knowing what I did, I started to search every room, every floor, every cabinet. I found his journals, Atrus never, Atrus's never-ending journals. I found the book that brought me back to this world. The lesson world he calls Janamin. Oh, this is the guy... This is why he wanted padlocks. This guy's been linking and stealing books. Oh, Tamara, my love. How long have I been trapped here? How much of my life has been eaten by the fog? The face I see in the lagoon isn't one I remember ever wearing. It's so much older, but much more savage. But it is me. It is Savedro. And I remember what they did. How they led my people to death. I have returned several times now to Tamara. Tamara, yeah. I am searching for some sign of his sons. I was certain they would run back to their father, but so much time has passed, so many years in which to forget about my people. Is that what happened, Atrus? Safe in your beautiful new home, enjoying life with your dear wife and family? Did you become so busy envisioning new worlds that you forgot the ones you already created? I must be very careful. I must not let them know what, uh, that I am free. I will read what journals I can find to figure out where his two sons are hiding. And when I've found the sons again, when I've got the whole family together, I'll bring them down. Atrus and his family will suffer, the way I have suffered for years. Cirrus and Aknar are not in Tamara. Every day I become more and more convinced Atrus's sons are not there. What happened, Atrus? Did you grow tired of them, the way you tired of Narayan? Did you abandon them, the way you abandoned my people behind your shield? It does not matter. I can still take revenge against their father, now that I am no longer stuck on Ian Inanin. I can avenge all the dead in my world. I have already opened his other books. I have begun making changes in those worlds, using his own lessons against him. There is still much work to be done, but eventually I will lure him into this tusk. I will find some way to make him follow me here from tomorrow. For now... I will concentrate on the orbiter. It is not a natural part of this world. The material that creates it is like nothing I've seen. It reminds me just a little of the shield. And if it is the same material, it can't be damaged. But perhaps I can damage the other devices. I'm going to take a picture of this. Feel like this might be important. No, it cannot be true. Surely his journals deceive me. He says he's brought them back. He says he's given his dunny brethren new life. But how? How can one man have so much power? How can one man's writing reawaken a dead world? I don't know what this means. By all that is sacred, Tamara. What can it mean? It doesn't change a thing. I can still continue as I planned. I can still seek revenge for my people. I will make my enemies suffer. By the weaving, Tamara. This changes everything. I have found a way to reprogram his scanning device. It requires scavenging parts from another mechanism in the tusk. But I think the gears I leave can still be operated by hand. It is finished. All is ready for Atrus' arrival. Tonight, I will sleep among the ghosts. Then tomorrow, I will link into tomorrow. When I link out, I'll be carrying his book. May the spirits of my people serve to guide me in this.
these symbols are changing. So there's nothing there. And then that's got like a bit extra, and there's two of them, then nothing. I might be reading too much into this, but maybe. I'm going to take a picture of that as well. Unless, does this book just come with me now? Because that'd be awesome. It does. Okay, so this guy is a savage. That's probably a bit harsh, actually. Someone who feels like he got abandoned by Atrus. And I'm guessing that's why he's... so mad at him, I guess. Oh, and his sons obviously fucked them up. What the hell? It's an elevator. Oh. Atrus? Is that you? Come to rescue your book so soon? Not yet, old friend. Well damn. Can we, like, send it up? I wonder what would have happened if we'd done this. Like, sent it up. Without us in it. Okay, I don't know. Oh god, there's stuff everywhere. 
Oh god, there is stuff everywhere. Ah. You are a puzzle for another day. Right then, what do we got? Okay, you are not a puzzle for another time, you are a puzzle for right now, because he wrote it all in his book. Uh, so, bottom, middle, middle? Like maybe the one without the nub at the end. It might be the one that I need, which I think is that one. Oh, wait, 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 wait. So yeah, that's with the, that bit pointing outwards. Fine. These all look the same though. Right? There's this outside bit, and then a long bit on a hinge, one with a... Yeah, they all look the same to me. I guess that's showing the arm against that thing. So like that. And then this one. Uh, where was it? Like that, I guess, unless there's a... Okay, let's give that a go.
The only one I'm not sure about is the um, like the, the looks like three um, telescopes. didn't take us any higher. Hmm. The door's still locked. Hmm. Oh, <laughs> hey buddy. Okay. Go back down, open this. Unless there's anything else obvious. So your bottom middle middle. Oh, one of them's in the middle, fuck's sake. Uh, wait, which one is? So it has to be one point in that way, one point in that way, and then the one in the middle is, I'm guessing, the one we're looking at. So that's Right, let's try that. You're the... You're the... Yep. Give this a go. And if this doesn't work, I've got no idea. And I'm leaving in disgust. Oh, this is different. Maybe not. It is different. Uh... Oh yeah, because now the door's going to open on the floor. Perfect. Elevator. Okay, cool. Oh, I can't, I can't even spell. Eliator. I don't close, son of a bitch. Right, 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 right. That is just going to send this back down. I'm guessing we can give it a go. 
Yeah. Wait, what? The fact that I can free turn is going to be horrendous. Every time I hear a little a little noise. That would have been a short game, yeah. My sons, I promise to teach you the secrets of my ages. This world is the first step on your journey. Search the island and you'll find three linking books. Each connects to an age in which you will learn to work Hello, Atreus. Been a long time. Sorry I'm not there to greet you in person, but I just didn't think it would be wise, considering how long I've been stuck here. Trapped in these lesson ages by two very greedy little boys. Your sons, Atreus, Cirrus, and Akinar. Of course, they're not so little anymore, not so innocent. I thought a lot about innocence these last few years and what happens when it gets lost. Worried about relation? I have it. Worried about friends, relatives, people you can't get back. I know just how you feel. But if you want to do something about it, you're going to have to open this device. And there's just one problem. I've changed the three symbols that do that. So if you want to reclaim relation, you're going to have to take your own class. <laughs> Find the three symbols, Atris. And don't keep me waiting forever. Okay, noted. Find three symbols. Uh, yeah, Trumpet. I had no... Uh expectation that we were going to catch him quite so quickly. As nice as that would have been. Right, so we need three symbols to go in there, right? That's what he's saying. The three symbols will pull this back up. Uh, do I recognize the actor? Yeah, I do. I just can't think of where I've seen him from before. Like his, his face really does ring a bell. Wait, that, that does one. That does one. Brad. Uh, what's he been in, Trumpet? Oh, wait, I can just move the thingy around. So, like, zoom out. Focus. Worm tongue. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, is that it? I thought he did a very good job as the bad guy in this. It all makes sense now. Uh, 
I don't know when it's like good. Like, it's obviously not that. Uh, he's done a lot. He was also in at least one of the Alien movies and a few episodes of Star Trek Voyager. Okay, yeah, yeah. That makes sense. How did they get him to do this then? Although I guess maybe the Miss games were picking up a lot of momentum at this point. Right, I'm going to say that one's done. I don't know. Although when he says he's changed the three symbols, does that mean I'm not looking for the symbol that's on the screen? Uh, Cyan partnered with Presto Studios for Exile, so I imagine they had a bigger budget. Okay, that makes a lot of sense. Must have felt good to get an actor like that in as well for... Um, For miss, especially when you think the first the first game was literally just the two guys doing it by themselves. One hundred and seventy-two acting credits. Nice. Boys done work. He was also in One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, boy's been in a uh, a lot of stuff. Right, that's clearly number two. I'm going to assume it's going to give me a little bit of leeway on these. So I'm going to pr pretend that that one's done as well now. This is a button I was supposed to be pressing. Like, it's just about done, right? So then we come over here and press this button. My sons, I promise to teach you the secrets of my ages. This world is the first step on your journey. Search the island, and you'll find th We already listened to you. I'm sorry, Atrus. Uh, this is another puzzle that didn't age well as society's focus on accessibility has increased. Oh, really? In the... In that you have to be very visually on point. Yeah, that makes sense. How accurate am I expected to be? Like, will it just work? Like, will it be obvious when I've got it lined up properly? I guess I'm trying to say.
to explore. So long as that's not explode today, I'm uh, <laughs> all good. Okay, so there is not so much. Wait, hang on. Okay, okay. Let me listen to what Atrus has to say one more time. My sons, I promise to teach you the secrets of my ages. This world is the first step on your journey. Search the island, and you'll find three linking books. Each connects to an age in which you will learn. Hello, Atrus. Been a long time. Sorry I'm not there to greet you in person, but I just didn't think it would be wise, considering how long I've been stuck here. Trapped in these lesson ages by two very greedy little boys. Your sons, Atreus, Cirrus, and Akinar. Of course, they're not so little anymore, not so innocent. I thought a lot about innocence these last few years and what happens when it gets lost. Worried about relation? I have it. Worried about friends, relatives, people you can't get back? I know just how you feel. But if you want to do something about it, you're going to have to open this device. And there's just one problem. I've changed the three symbols that do that. So if you want to reclaim relation, you're going to have to take your own class. <laughs> Find the three symbols, Atris. And don't keep me waiting forever. Yeah, I mean... For me, that's just line these up like I have been doing. But I've learned that when Tadar says stop doing something and go and explore, that's exactly what you do. So off I go. Uh, not really obvious, but those balls moving around should be on or equally between the lines. Okay. That's not wrong. No, when uh, when you or Tada say to do something, drop it. I'm uh, gonna take heed. <laughs> Never wrong. Bold statement. I like his little graffiti of, I can't remember what he said his, uh, his missus was called. What do we have here then? Nothing of interest. That's going to be for something later, isn't it? One sparkly ball weighs as much as four wooden balls. 100%. That's coming back to bite me in the ass. Right, okay. In fact, I think there might have been a bit further in this place we didn't explore, right? Yeah, we didn't come this way. What are you? Nothing. I'm going to get so lost in this place. Oh, 
Oh. Hey. Back. Can I? Oh. That is very cute. from here Right, you're making that thing grow. I get it. I understand. But what does that thing growing do for me? Hmm? Riddle me that. I'll leave you to it, I suppose. I'll keep exploring. Oh, hello. So we have... Just this way to go. Is happening. Hey, is that a symbol? Is that one of the symbols? Or no, it can't be. You wouldn't be able to see it from. I don't know. I'm totally disorientated. Wait, what? Right, I suppose I'll point you at bridge creaking. Oh, so is there... Uh, there was something over there, whistling rock. Whistle rock, whatever. I wonder if there's something we have to point at that as well. But first, let's go back this way. <laughs> Bless me. Bless me. Oh no, now we're back to these things that I don't understand. Oh wait, this was... I think a yellow one got pointed at at one point, right? Probably by that one over there. Yeah, okay. So you're now looking at each other. It's probably helpful for somebody. I'm doing that thing where I'm making an assumption on, on puzzles. And just getting things to look at each other.
God, this place is never ending. Wait. We are back at the start, I think. Okay. We are back at the start. So let's try over here. Wait, does that little creature make those explode so that I can walk over to that door? Is that like an ex is that showing me an example of what that creature can do? Maybe. Okay, come up here. Red, what are you looking at? Nothing. <laughs> Also nothing. And green. Perfect. Hang on. I should have done this right from the start, but... Red is looking at green. And at some point... I will recheck what all the others are looking at. Okay. Wait, how do we get in that tusk? I want to go in there. I don't think. Oh, this is... That's the symbol. Powers you. Can I just like creep over these rocks? I feel like I should be able to do that. Or like just climb over this thing, you know? Right. Fine. Fine. So that goes over that way. So it kind of heads off towards the tusk, I suppose. Oh. Oh my god. Um. Okay, great. That was...
Wait, 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 wait. How about we leave the door open and then we roll that thingy back that way? If I can figure out how to do that. No, you need to be... I think you need to be down. Wait, they both need to be down, but that needs to be there. Right? Son of a bitch. There's two levers. Why am I struggling? Here we go. Oh, come on. Okay, let's try again. Oh, wait. Nice. Which means we can... Oh no. I needed to pay attention to the thing. Why don't I pay attention to things? to get back there. Ugh. No. Wait, yeah, I can. Yeah, I can. We... I don't know which way is quickest, but... I think we... came around here to Whistling Rock. Yeah, then down here. So here's what I'm thinking. We have to line up the... Oh, no. Oh wait, no, it doesn't matter. I was going to say we have to line up the shapes and then the circles are in a particular position. And then we input those circles back where the actual shape is. Is kind of what I'm thinking. It wasn't that one, but I'm going to take a picture of this anyway. Might have been this one, I can't remember. But actually, I'm almost certain it was this one. Okay, right. Back we go.
I don't want to jinx myself, but I feel like I'm making a lot more progress with Mist 3 at the start than I did with uh, <laughs> with Riven. Uh, which way did I go? creepy chanting okay it was that symbol which was the last picture that I took <laughs> yeah yes it was <laughs> right the outside one is... Oh no, how accurate does this have to be? Kind of there. The next one... Kind of there. The next one is like... There. And that one is there. I found a book. Hurrah. Uh, however, before we do any of that, I might have to call it a night. Because I think I'm coming down with a cold, unfortunately. I know, go me, I did a thing. I didn't, like, no hints other than saying st stop playing with these things and go and explore. So proud of myself. Um, yeah, I think I'm coming down with a cold or something. I could, it's definitely hitting me in the back of the nose at the moment. So I might have to go and rest, I'm afraid. But it's been a good stream. Thanks for joining, guys. It's uh, We got a lot done. Finally finished Riven. After, I don't know how long it's been, actually. Like, I don't think it took me that long, actually. I think, like I said before, a lot faster because of... Uh, a lot faster because of hints and stuff. But a very fun game. I am looking forward to seeing what I can do with uh, Mystery. Like I say, I'm quite happy. I feel like I'm making a lot more progress at the start of this one. Um, next Mist stream will be next Thursday. So hopefully, catch you then. Take care, guys. Bye-bye.